Well, apparently I haven't suffered enough for your amusement recently, and so this begins Crap Snack Week, where for five days I'll be looking at a different snack each day, and all of them, frankly, I bought really cheaply and they all look a bit crap. Disclaimer, they might be quite nice. I have no idea. I haven't tried them yet. But let's begin with Yeoman Mash Pot. Yes, Yeoman Mash Pot. Sounds like a character from Game of Thrones, probably a bannerman for House Stark or something. But it is in fact a load of dried mashed potato and chicken, and you can stick water in and it will turn back into mashed potato. I imagine. There used to be a thing in England called Smash, which was a sort of dried instant potato. I don't know why I said that in the past tense, because it still absolutely is a thing, but more accurately, it used to be a thing that people would occasionally eat, and it was heavily advertised with a series of uh, alien robots that were laughing at us for eating old-fashioned potatoes and not their slightly unpleasant dried variant. Yeah, we tend to be a bit more keen on our fresh food these days. So, it looks like something you cleaned out of a drain? I'm not entirely sure. Ready in 30 seconds. Well, that's something anyway. Mash potato and chicken flavoured. Made with 100% real potato, but is it real chicken? Just add water and mix. Made with 100% real potato. Yes, yes, I, I had guessed that, as opposed to using, I don't know, plastic potatoes or allegorical potatoes. Made from real, yes again, made from real potatoes. Suitable for vegetarians. Gonna guess that it ain't got any real chicken in then. Gluten free, that's something, and no artificial colouring. Potatoes are naturally potato coloured. Um, yeah, when fruits will give you the money back that nobody ever bothers with. Fill up to this line with your own spit. No, use hot water. If not, it'll be quite unpleasant. Nutritional information, yep, yep, it's got a lot of salt in it and all that kind of stuff. Preparation instructions, add 150 millilitres of boiling water. Mix with a fork for 30 seconds. Yep, that sounds pretty easy. Add more water if required and mix for your desired texture and enjoy, maybe? Um, that makes sense, yeah, if you want something a bit uh, less solid to put more water in. I shall use their recommended fill line though. And there's a lot of ingredients. Uh, potato flake 74% and the rest of it is all bits and bobs and dried cream and lactose and milk and presumably there's quite a lot of uh, fake chicken flavouring in there and that kind of stuff. You know, if I just fancy a quick snack, I don't think I've ever thought of having just some mashed potato. Do you know what I mean? Or mashed potato, as we would generally say, as opposed to just mashed potato, which is an odd one. Um, yeah, it's not something that, you know, hmm, a little bit hungry, better smash up a spud. But there we are. It's something that can be easily and quickly made with boiling water, apparently. So uh, I'm going to have to stop talking and put it off and give it a go, aren't I? Jump cut. So then, here's the mighty potato dust inside, mm -mm. and lumps of some sort of soya or something that's masquerading as chicken for some reason. Right, these look a bit like scalp flakes, your favourite dandruff dessert. Right, let's put the water in and see what happens. Where do we fill it up to again? To this line, which, uh, yes, you can see through the pot, so good design there, guys. Uh, let's pop that in. Uh, it's just like cooking, except not. Oh, this is getting quite warm. Mm, I used to like the skin on my fingers. Oh, right. I'm going to put the kettle out of the way. And uh, well, yep, that's that's turning into something already. Better give it a stir so it doesn't get lumpy at the bottom. That would be unpleasant. It's smelling of uh, mm, sort of mashed potato and a few herbs, as you probably would expect. While we're waiting for this, we can talk about kettles. Did you know if you go to America, nobody really has a kettle? And they just boil water by putting it in a um, saucepan on a stove, which seems crazy. But uh, then you have to remember that their electricity supplies 120 volts rather than 240, so it takes bloody ages to boil a kettle. Hence why they don't really use them, because it's kind of pointless. Well, this is coming out in, in a very... Uh, yeah, so it seems quite smooth. Well, saying that, I've just got millions of lumps in it, actually, which I suppose there would be, but let's keep on stirring it for the uh, allotted time. Ah, oh, dear me. Um, seeing mashed potato in this weird, creamy format always reminds me of being in hospital when I was young, because um, they served the uh, mashed potato with a uh, ice cream scoop. And that always, uh, always struck me as odd at the time, because I'd never seen mashed potato in a sort of more instant or creamy form. Ah, uh, what days they were. That was when I had my vestigial twin removed after he tried to kill me with his psychic powers. Anyway, right. Is this actually ready and raring to go? Is it going to be too hot and burn me horribly? Let's hope so. Actually, I kind of hope not. Right, give it a proper sniff. 
Yeah, it's, oh, do you know, it just smells of fake chicken flavour. <laughs> now I've got it closer. If you've ever had something like, uh, you know, chicken flavour noodles that aren't very good, it's got that kind of uh, feeling to it. Right, let's mash some mash, nosh some mash. We're going to eat this now because the words have failed me. Oh, that's quite warm. Mmm, oh. Um, I mean, it's not horrible or anything. Um, but it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's quite obviously potato that's kind of not as potato as it used to be. Let's try a bit with the uh, proper lumps on here. Oh. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, the little lumps of the chicken stuff are quite unpleasant. They're just sort of hard and um, dry and just break on your teeth like you've eaten something that's dropped out of a pot noodle before you put the water in. Ugh. But yeah, it's 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 all right, and I can't imagine why you would want this as a snack. And frankly, it's not that pleasant either, really. It's not horrible or anything, but it's okay. They did do another flavour that was just onion, and I thought, hmm, uh, I'm going to go for the chicken because it sounds like it might be a bit more pleasant. But yeah, it's, it's not awful or anything. It's not going to uh, make you ill, but it's certainly not going to change your life. Um, it did cost about a pound, and uh, going to be honest with you. You can buy quite a few potatoes for a pound and probably make some actual mashed potato if you've got a few minutes. But if you really need some very sort of creamy mashed potato very quickly, that just kind of tastes slightly of chicken, very slightly of potato, mostly of nothing, this is an option for you. Subscribe for more.